So here we are once again coming up to the new moon and it's a new moon in Virgo on the 13th of September and it's an eclipse new moon too. So we're in super powerful times and everybody that I've spoken with in this last couple of weeks is experiencing some kind of pressure or shift that's going on within them um, that is moving them forward in some way. What I feel that we're being drawn to in this particular time is into a much uh, more evolved consciousness and a way of working with our energy, with our hearts and with our conscious connection to our journey, our story and also our connection with others. So these are super powerful times and the eclipses feel to be like a power point. They are like a pulse point that is bringing new, new insights and new choices into our potentials on a daily basis. So I'm just going to invite you just for a few minutes to take a few easy breaths in and out. And if you're sitting at your computer, just bring your attention to the weight of your body sitting on the chair and your feet on the floor. Just be aware of that physical body as it's supported on the chair. Then perhaps gently touch your heart chakra, your, the centre of your chest, with your left hand, just, just to touch it, to bring your attention into that heart centre. And just with every breath in and out, just feel that heart centre becoming more and more soft, more and more relaxed, and more and more at ease. So that if you feel any tension, any uh, harder areas in that heart center, you just see that releasing on the out breath, like vapor. And on the in breath, breathe in luminous golden white light, so that that heart center becomes more and more filled with luminous golden white light. And as you come into that place, you may be able to visualize a rose beginning to show herself in that golden light. And I invite you on the next out breath to breathe that energy, that beautiful rose and rosy gold energy out through your body just reminding your body of its connection to beauty, to love, and to the journey here, so that every cell, as that wave of rosy golden light passes through, every cell becomes kissed by that wave of energy. And then on the next out breath, to breathe that energy out into the world and breathe it particularly into those areas in the world where you know there is challenge and crisis. And also breathe it out to all of those in your friends and family circuit that you know could do with a little blast of rosy golden light at this time. And this is a process that you could repeat at any point when you've just got those few minutes to come back into centre. And in the meantime, we'll do the rose reading, the rose card reading for this new moon on the 13th of September.
So I'm asking the rose cards for their wisdom and their guidance for this coming period of time at the, this last two weeks of September that take us through to the full moon. What is the wisdom that the roses have to offer us? And the rose that, that has been pulled from the deck is Rose Mar 6. And th this rose is all about transformation. She says, I am transformer. I have the effortless ability to hold steady and yet transform at the same time. So she's a powerful rose for these times. You know, the only the only sort of st stable aspect of our lives is the fact that all things change. And she's reminding us of that, but to come back into the heart and allow that to be our anchor and our guide through this time. So if you're watching this on my newsletter, just below the video, you will find the image of this rose and her descriptor as it's shown in the Rose Oracle deck. And I wish you a graceful passage as we move through from this new moon to the full moon. And that's when I will be doing the next reading for you. So love and rosy blessings. Thank you.